Today, we'll be examining the Dell PowerEdge T350 Tower Server. This is a recent addition to Dell's range and is an upgrade from the PowerEdge T150. Despite its compact size, this tower server from Dell provides a host of enterprise-grade options. It operates on a single CPU and features hot-swappable hard drives and power supplies, along with an iDRAC for remote management. The system is impressively quiet and energy efficient. Its casing, crafted from thick metal, adds a bit of weight to the unit. Now let's remove the bezel and inspect the drive configuration. After removing the bezel, it's evident that the system can accommodate up to eight 3.5-inch hot-swappable hard drives. On the upper left, you'll find a power button, followed by an informational LED, a USB 3.0 port, and an iDRAC Direct port. The system also includes an optional DVD drive. Since this system lacks an optional BOSS S2 module, we'll utilize a dual-port Dell BOSS card equipped with two M2 modules. Let's shift our focus to the system's rear. At the top, it's equipped with two power supplies, each rated at 600 watts. It's intriguing why such high wattage power supplies were used in the original design, given that the system's power consumption should be under 100 watts. The back panel features four PCIe ports, succeeded by five USB 2.0 ports, an informational LED, a pair of gigabit NIC ports, a USB 3.0 port, an iDRAC port, a serial port, and an SVGA port. A single large fan is also present at the back, contributing to noise reduction. Now let's remove the cover and delve into the system's internals. A sizable air baffle is present, enveloping all hard drive ports, the heat sink, and memory. A large fan at the back contributes to the system's quiet operation and ensures that all drives, the CPU, and memory remain cool. The system also houses a RAID card, with Dell offering a variety of RAID card options. With the air baffle removed, the system internals are now fully visible. The system features an 8-port, 3.5-inch hard drive backplane. A large CPU heatsink is present, which, interestingly, does not have its own fan and instead depends on a single large fan at the back. The system provides four memory ports. The currently installed CPU is highly efficient, so there's no need for an upgrade. However, we plan to enhance the memory to 64 gigabytes. Additionally, we'll be incorporating a dual port Dell BOSS card that can accommodate two M2 SSDs. Let's examine the components we're about to set up. Our system will be equipped with four memory modules, each with a capacity of 16 gigabytes, summing up to a total of 64 gigabytes. It's important to note that this system is compatible only with ECC unbuffered memory and does not accommodate registered memory. The BOSS card will be configured in RAID 1 mode and will install Windows Server 2022 on it. As per our prior tutorials, we'll first update the firmware for the lifecycle controller and iDRAC, followed by the BIOS. Subsequently, we'll use the lifecycle controller to update the remaining firmware. For more comprehensive information, please refer to our other videos. We've successfully installed all the components, and all memory slots are currently in use. This is the location where we've set up the Dell BOSS card. Our next steps involve resetting all settings to their default values, configuring the Dell BOSS card, installing the operating system, and carrying out the necessary updates. The system is now fully operational and updated. It's powered by an Intel Xeon E2378 CPU, which boasts eight cores and 16 threads, making it one of the superior CPUs compatible with this system. We conducted a brief benchmark test on the Dell BOSS card. While the speed may not be exceptional, it's sufficient for most applications. If your work demands higher I.O., you might want to consider upgrading to the NVMe option. This is the iDRAC power consumption view, which shows an average of just 53 watts. This is impressive, especially considering that this system is adequately equipped for a small office or home lab. The system is, once again, highly efficient and operates quietly. I'm